welcome from England. I am Josh. And I am Ashley. Welcome to The Way Way. If you haven't already, be sure and subscribe, give us a like, and hit that bell so you can follow more of our adventures. We are continuing our England in Autumn series. <laughs> I, I, well, technically we're going to like Wales and uh, the, but it's fine. It's, you know, England, right? Yeah, for the most part, we'll be in sure. England. But today we have come to a small little town called Cheddar. Well, that name sounds really familiar. Yeah, what do I know Cheddar. about? Yeah, Cheddar. Cheddar. Robert! The cheese, Robert! Okay. The cheese! <laughs> <laughs> if you get the reference, let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> Today we are in fact in cheddar. We are going to be trying cheddar cheese and there's a bit more to cheddar and cheddar cheese than you might realize. Before going into this tiny town, we decided that it's best that we fill our bellies with some food. So we decided to order a plowman's, which was a suggestion from our little um, British friends. Your little beans. <laughs> yeah, little beans. <laughs> this is Alex and Emma actually, if you guys didn't see our last hey. video. They are um, YouTubers as well. They make great travel videos and they invited us to come and visit them here. And so, yeah, they're showing us around and suggested the plowmen. So Alex and I are going to share this and they were telling us a few different things that are on this platter. One of them being this little pie guy. The pork pie. It's called a pork pie. Okay. I've never had anything like this before. It has really dense pork inside and um, a crusty crust. What would you call this a crust? A short, short, short crust? I would say short crust, yeah. yeah short crust. Kind so of... Sometimes it has like a jellied layer, which is really gross. <laughs> but this one doesn't, so I'm kind of intrigued myself because uh, I'm not okay. the biggest pork pie fan. Ah, so you might like this one. Much to the dismay of my subscribers, they, the Brits really like a pork pie. Okay, so the pork pie, I'll give that a go in a second. And then Alex was saying he does not like the pickle that comes with this. And I was like, yeah, I'm so excited I get Alex's pickle. Like, not in a weird way, but just. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she's right here. Right here, right in front of my lady. Not, I love pickles, like actual food. Maybe you just stop eating while you're ahead. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, it's not what I thought it was. It's whatever this is, like gelatin. That looks like a chutney to me. Yeah, it looks like chutney. What? Do you know what's inside? Is it a fruit it's, thing? It's probably Branston pickle, which is essentially like a bunch of like pickled vegetables, pickled onions, stuff like that, all kind of chopped up in like kind of a, yeah, I guess like a, what would you call it? Yeah, like a chutney sauce. Kind hmm. of. Yeah, so okay. it's clo like definitely kind of closer spices. to a chutney. It's definitely an acquired taste. It's I think with the cheddar, it's such a nice combination. Like it's quite strong, but with the cheddar cheese. Mm. Mm. Yep. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I it's like a you. chutney. It is like a chutney then to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. But it is a pickly flavor, like it's vinegary. Mm. Yeah, um, definitely vinegary. And then there's also some, what is this, coleslaw? Coleslaw. Uh, just a little salad. Um, so this is local brie, but the star of this whole dish, in my opinion, is this is a hunk of cheddar cheese from Cheddar in England, where we're at right now. Supposedly, this is the original place where cheddar cheese comes from. Supposedly. There's no supposedly about this. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll tell the history in a little bit. <laughs> but this is what we we came specifically here for, and we'll be going and trying some more of this cheese, but thought we'd start out our day with this whole platter, try it with a few different things, and then mm. go out and try some more cheddar cheese. I'll give it a go. All right. First impressions, Ash. Mm. What are you getting? Whoa. Sort of a cheesy flavor, I imagine. Yeah, it's really good, but it's not super sharp at all. It's oh. not. No. It's not. Mm -mm. That's the thing it's with cheddar as creamy. well. There's a big range. You've got like mild, medium, strong, like vintage cheddar. You have such a range, which mm. you'll see when we go to the cheese shop later. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of difference. The vintage is my favorite when it has the crystals in it. So I oh, can yes. not wait to try that. Well, cheers. Let's eat. Hey. said before we are in cheddar England and as I mentioned we are going to be having some cheddar cheese to address your immediate concerns yes cheddar is from cheddar I know Wisconsin cheddar it's it's great American cheddar cheese is fantastic but the real in quotation marks cheddar is from cheddar so in this area there's a place called the cheddar gorge it is a path 
through some really rocky mountains. There's caves all in there. And cheese making dates back to 1100 AD in this area. And cheddar, as we know it today, is from 1500 AD in this town. The exact place that we're in over 500 years ago was making the same cheese that we'll be trying today and the forefather of what we've imported to America. What? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't make that up. <laughs> I'm liking this town already. Ice cream, a oh, dairy shop, and another ice cream shop, and then another ice cream shop. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know why. Actually, yeah. So that was in the cave, yeah. and then this is a vintage. Mm, I just got a smoky cheddar. Oh, it smells really smoky. This reminds me of Pepperidge Farms. Okay, just because it's the only <laughs> cheese that you know offhand. <laughs> mm. I'm not. I never like the smoke flavor as much. Okay. Yeah. I I just tried it off camera, and it was delicious. I loved it. Yeah. We talked about the caves that are in the uh, Cheddar Gorge just up the road, and this cheese right here is aged in one of those caves. This is the Cheddar Gorge Cheese Company, the only real cheddar from cheddar, apparently, according to the signage. And this cheese specifically is aged for 12 months in those natural caves. I'm gonna give it a try. Oh yeah. It's got the crystallization in it. Like, I, that was a small oh, that's piece. My favorite part. That was a small piece, and so many parts of it had like the little crunch in it. Mm, it's like, it's still cheesy, but it's got a little bit of a chalkiness to it, but not like chalk flavor, just the feeling of it. It kind of dissipates into your mouth. Oh, it's really good. It's not super sharp. And that's not the oldest one they have. They no, have they, a have, vintage. they have like a 15 or even more, I yeah. think, but 12 months, that's not bad at all. Okay, now I have the vintage one. Um, it's the strongest cheddar they have, and it's been aged for 20 months. That's a long time. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a go. My favorite part about cheddar is that it's not a really hard cheese. It's really soft, easy to eat. Mm, that one is delicious. Yeah? It's inoffensive, right? Yeah, even though, like, none of these are really sharp to me, actually. This one's probably the sharpest out of all of them, in my yeah. opinion. And even that is very, very palatable, if, even if you're so not a good. giant cheese fan. Mm. That's probably my favorite. It has like the taste that you get in the back of your mouth when it's like a really old cheese. Like, it's a good flavor, not a bad flavor. <laughs> it's delicious. You just try it. It's a little spicy. Ashley's got a spicy chutney. They sell all different things here that you can add to the cheese or have with the cheese. And Alex is forcing me to try this one. This is one of my favorite, and I don't know how you are with spicy stuff, but I'm just intrigued to see how this goes. <laughs> it's the hell, I just put a lot more on this than I planned to. Hellfire pepper jelly. That, that sounds, sounds cool. intense, yeah. <laughs> the spice definitely comes after. <laughs> It's really sweet at first, though. It's really good. It's not so bad. Yeah. I'm right. surviving. It's not really so not really hellfire. It's yeah. it's sort of an English hellfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For us, it's really spicy. Yeah, hellfire light. <laughs> Tasting all the cheeses, we had to get some of our own. So we have the vintage, the one that Ashley liked the most, and I liked it a lot too. Although I think I liked the cave uh, aged one a little bit better. So as I mentioned, cheddar cheese is from cheddar, right? And in the US, if you've, if you've seen cheddar cheese, and you probably have, you'll know that the color's a little different. We have um, sort of an orange color to ours. Typically that's from like Wisconsin cheddar is what we would call it. And basically the color difference comes down to one thing, marketing. So uh, the story goes, and varying degrees of this are true, and I don't know the exact truth, but how, it, how I understand it is, during the summer months, cows eat real grass, or at least they did back in the day, right? 
And the beta carotenes in the real grass give sort of a yellow tint to the milk and that comes through in the cheese. And so the cheese was sort of a darker yellowish color and that was considered fresher, better cheese. And then during the winter time, the cows would eat the hay and the milk and the cheese that was produced from that was more of a pale white color. And so cheddar was actually quite pale, except for when it was made from fresh, really nutrient rich milk. And then when cheddar was brought to the US and even throughout Europe, uh, it was color enhanced to make it appear better looking even in the, the winter fed cow cheese. So basically they kept adding more and more and more color until it was orange. And now orange, at least in the US, is considered like a really strong cheddar cheese. And a white cheddar just doesn't make sense. I was trying to spy on them. <laughs> you sneaky knowing us. <laughs> Go away! Oh. Being here in autumn, it is the perfect time to enjoy some cider, apple cider, and um, like apple juice. And I guess this little store does the best. That's what Alex and Emma said. So we're gonna try some. But if you didn't see our last video, we went and tried different ciders in this area, which it's very famous for the ciders with alcohol in it. like alcoholic Hello. cider and it was delicious so definitely go check out that video but now i'm going to try some actual cider with no alcohol oh. like our kind of cider oh really i think, I think. Mm. thank you mm. so this is fresh apple juice no alcohol but they still call it cider no they call it okay is okay it cider? No, <laughs> it's okay. apple juice, okay. so they don't call it cider. Yeah. So like our cider would be like this, just apple juice with spices added to it. Right. But here they have like a mold cider, which would be hot and probably the closest thing to, to what we would call apple cider. Okay. But this is fresh apple juice. Mmm. That yeah. is so good. It tastes like your apple cider that you're used to back home? No, apple juice. Okay. Yeah, like really fresh, cold apple juice. Wow. That's really sweet and delicious. All right, it's time to move on. <laughs> Get it? Joke about cheese? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think of another cheddar -y joke, but... <laughs> <laughs> so we've actually run out of parking. Our little, uh, little car here. And uh, we have to say goodbye to Cheddar. It was yeah. delicious and delightful. <laughs> so lovely here because you can just go to a cute little tiny town and mm -hmm. enjoy your afternoon. And you don't have to go miles away. I'm just loving England. Yeah. In the sunshine, it has been spectacular. Now the travel beans have warned us that sh shortly we should be experiencing proper English weather. Yeah. But we're uh, we're ready for it. Yeah, we're I'm upset. excited to have some tea and crumpets oh. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll know when that time comes, but if you let us know down in the comments below, mm -hmm. what is your favorite cheese? Do you like cheddar or is there another cheese that tickles your fancy? Ooh. I specifically like brie. That's definitely my favorite and I love it with a little jam and a mm -hmm. cracker. That's my favorite way to have it. But <laughs> yeah, right. I'm excited. Tomorrow we're having a picnic and so we're gonna bring these along and we're gonna meet some other fun YouTubers along the way. So, Boy Fam, I hope we encourage you to get out and travel today. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hopefully they don't leave us. <laughs> Bye. Come back. A huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible. If you want to follow more, go to Instagram at wayawaymag. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us.